sews and stuff on Instagram, and today I'm doing the pajama tag. So I was tagged by Myra of Myra Lorraine here on YouTube, and this is a tag that was started by Laura of Sew, Sew, Sewing from the Stash, as well as Viv from Stitches and Seams, and Elizabeth from Elizabeth Made This. And this is a very casual tag, and um, for the tag there were three questions. So the first question is, have you ever made a muslin that ended up as PJs? Tell us about them. So I never made a muslin that turned into PJs, but I did make an outfit that turned into PJs, and that's what I'm wearing right here. So this is the great, um, the, the frill cami top from the Great British Sewing Bee. And these are some elastic waistband pants, some elastic waistband pants that I made to go with it. And I really made, and I'll leave a link to the pattern below. And I made these pants for an um, all white party for a holiday party I was going to in December. And when I made it, my husband thought they looked like pajamas. So. I ended up just chain, making it pajamas, but I do love the top. I love the little frill detail on it, so I do want to make this top again. But these, um, I think, and it's a velvety fabric, so I don't know. It's just a little thin for uh, for going out. But I'll leave a better picture of it right here because I did post it on Instagram. So this is the picture that uh, that I posted right here on Instagram. Okay, so the next question is, what were your first PJ mix, or tell us about your favorite PJs. So my first PJ mix were these pants. These are um, a quilting cotton that I picked up from the quilt shop where I bought my, my sewing machine. And I really like this because they look like, um, what are those things that did you blow on, um, those cotton things? dandelion seeds that you blow on in the summer. So I really like this, these pants, these pajama pants. These were my first pajama pants and they came out really nice. And I used the pattern, um, the pajama pattern from the Love It First Stitch book. And it's one of the first patterns in the book. The Margot pajamas, that's what they're called. The Margot pajama pants from Love It First Stitch. So those are my first pajama pants, and then um, and to go with that, I made a nice, a cute little uh, top. It has no darts. I found a pattern at the thrift store, and I'll leave a um, link to a uh, picture of it here. It's way, way out of print, but it's basically a basic tank pattern, and there are no darts or anything to it. There are side slips slits on the sides. So I used this top just to test out the pattern to make the pajama top. So um, those are my second, my first pair of pajamas that I made and um, I'll try them over oh, here. Here are the pajamas. They are nice. I love these pajamas. I think these are my favorite and my first pair of pajamas that I have. I wear them all the time. And they're great for the summer because they're made out of a uh, quilting cotton which um, is very breathable when it's really hot at, at night. So um, again this is my combo that I made from the Love First Stitch pajama bottoms and a Vogue just simple tank, no bus start tank that I made um, to go with it. So um, I'll show you the so these are my third pair of pajamas. Again I use um, Actually, I use a simplicity pattern. It's a unisex um, pajama pants pattern for these. They're, but it's pretty close to the um, Tilly and the Buttons pattern as well. And I use another, um, and it has this nice, cute little holiday print. And I picked this up, this fabric up from the Goodwill. And it was a sheet set. It was, it was, in a, tar it was a Target sheet set. That somebody donated to Goodwill, and I cut it up, and I made one. I got the. It came with the fitted. Sheet. I had the fitted sheet as well as the top sheet, and I was able to make um, these pajamas, these cute little holiday pajamas. And um, I, I used. I think I used the same 
Vogue pattern. Um, again, no bust starts. It's just it has like grown on sleeves, so you didn't have to insert sleeves or anything. And it's bias bound, just regular cotton bias tape to, for the edges. And so those are my third okay. pair of so, pajamas. So the last question is, is how many me made pajamas have you made? So I've made three pairs for myself. So these holiday pajamas, the white accidental pajamas, as well as the dandelion puff pajamas. So those are the three pairs that I've made for myself. But I've also made two, two pair of pajama pants for my husband. So I've made him these cute Star Trek pajamas using the same pattern that I use for, um, so these are the Star Trek pajamas. And if you notice, this is one of my biggest whoopsie daisies when I first started sewing. So you see how everybody's right side up on this side of pajamas, and then they're upside down on the other side of pajamas. And look, Aurora's rolling her eyes like, why am I upside down? Anyway, so I made these for my husband, and I and while I was doing, I cut two pair out wrong, so I cut out that that side and the other side. Um, these pajamas, the same thing with these Star Trek. Star Trek is going up one way and down the other way. I was being super efficient, but wrong. <laughs> But he still wears them sometimes on vacation, but he, he doesn't wear pajamas pants that often anyway. He likes to wear sweatpants more, but um, he still wears them when we go out of town because he loves me, you know. So those are all the pajamas that I've made so far. Um, so I hope if you want to, you can participate in this tag. It's only three questions. There's no deadline on the tag. Um, if you can't, if you do post it on Instagram, tag it as accidental pjs and i'm gonna go back and tag um my velvet ones as accidental uh pjs on instagram and so for today since i have to tag someone i'm gonna tag karina of lifting pins and needles as well as shells from shells hearts art so if you um hopefully they can participate in the tag and if i didn't tag you please feel free to participate in the tag as well all right, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.